So this is how we sketch reciprocal graph part 1. So understand that reciprocal graph, okay, we have two types. One is y equal to a over x. So you have to understand that when x becomes very, very large, your y will actually approach zero. So you can sub in any x value, for example, maybe 1 million. You realize that the y value will become very small. So for this kind of graph, your graph will be in two of the four quadrants, meaning it will either be this shape or it can be this shape. So now how do you sketch this graph? So what I need to do is we just sub in two values. Usually I'll choose x equal to 1 and x equal to negative 1. So when you submit x equal to 1 into the equation, you'll get 2. And if you sub in x equal to negative 1, you'll get negative 2. So all you need to do is just plot, just find where the first point is on the graph. So when x is 1, y is 2, you'll be somewhere around here. And when x is negative 1, y is negative 2, so it'll be here. So if you remember, I mentioned that the graph can either be here or here. So you can see that it follows the first one. So you just have to sketch this way. And this is your graph for y equal to 2 over x. So next, let's look at another example. So for this, when you submit x equal to 1, you get y equal to negative 1. And when you submit x equal to negative 1, you get y equal to 1. So using the same concept, when x is 1, y is negative, you'll be somewhere around here. And when x is negative 1, y is 1, you'll be somewhere around here. So your graph will be in this part and this part. So that's it.